Hey everyone, MeltingMan234 here, and after posting a video about a Q&A, getting tons of questions, and removing the announcement since I said I was going to delete it as a sign of the contest being closed, it's time to start the Q&A video. For this special occasion, I'll be switching over from my usual Melting Man icon and use the Mad Hatter from American McGee's Alice. So now it's time to answer some questions, and just a heads up, if I don't announce your name, then there's a good chance I already answered your question from someone else. I don't do repeats. Sonic Bowie Fan 9805 asks, Who are your favorite male and female Sonic characters, and who is your least favorite male and female Sonic character? Oh, uh, let's see. My favorite male would have to be Dr. Finitivus from the Archie Sonic series, and my favorite female is a tie between Honey the Cat and Nicole, if she ever becomes a real Mobian. And my least favorite male character is Jeffrey St. Frickin' John from the Archie Sonic series. And least favorite female is Elise. Upset. Super Saiyan Ya J2 Klonoa asks, What do you think of Cloud Strife's attire in Final Fantasy VII Advent Children? Oh, it looks pretty good. Style is very nice with the motion capture method that they used. Who would be your favorite Final Fantasy VII character that never made it into Kingdom Hearts? Oh, that would have to be Vincent. It would be cool if he was going to be featured in Kingdom Hearts 3, once Stream Drop Distance is out of the way. Which first-person shooter game would you pick? Wolfenstein 3D or Doom? Although I've never played any of those games and just seen gameplay footage of them, I'd pick Doom. Yeah, kill those demons. <laughs> SonicBot asks, In your opinion, where does Sonic keep all those rings that he collects? I don't know, maybe he has a big warehouse full of rings from his previous adventures that he was able to hang on to without getting hit. The James Scott asks, Have you ever considered doing walkthroughs or let's plays? Oh, that's an idea that has passed my mind a few times. The only problem is that I don't know where to get all the fancy cables to record the good gameplay footage and such. Anime B Player 95 asks, What are your thoughts on Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance? Oh, I'm really looking forward to the game. It's nice to see some new worlds thrown in, and I was real surprised seeing the Three Musketeers world featured in that game. Yeah, it looks good, and a good build-up to the upcoming Kingdom Hearts 3. What killed the dinosaurs? A giant rock fell from the sky and everything blew up. What's worse, Capcom being a cash cow, or Activision constantly making a Call of Duty game every single year? <laughs> Oh, I'll have to say Capcom is worse. Ever since they killed off their own mascot, they don't care what people say. They just ignore anyone who has been their fan back then. Favorite PS2 game? Oh, that's a tie between Crash to Insanity, Kingdom Hearts 2, and Nightmare Before Christmas, Boogie's Revenge. Worst cartoon you ever watched? Well, Paisano, that would have to be the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Nana Forever asks, Could you ask Hatter to do an Ahmed impersonation? <laughs> well, alright. <laughs> Good evening, infidels! Silence! I kill you! <laughs> what movie do you want to see Rotten Hell? That live action Cat in the Hat film. Bloody awful. What would happen if Hatter took over your channel for a while? Well, I would give this channel a steampunk look. I still don't like this new design. Then I'd upload some hilarious vids of hair trying to make some tea. He's not that well trained as I am. <laughs> Can I dare Hatter to do Charmy's line from Sonic Generations? Okay, let's see. Uh... I was scared because somebody took me, but now I'm free. I'm a free bee, free bee, free bee, yippee! And how did you discover American McGee's Alice? Now that's an interesting story that all started way back in 2000. Me and my dad were going off for some errands. We stopped at a Best Buy store looking at stuff. I was wandering around the PC gaming aisle and noticed a game with a Dark Alice and an Undead Cheshire Cat and said, Oh, a Dark Alice in Wonderland game. Of course I couldn't get the game because back then I was too young to get it. So after that, I completely forgotten about it until 9 or 10 years later when I was on YouTube. I found a fan-made short film called Mad Hatter Uninvited Guest for Tea. I found out it was based off the same game I saw years ago. So after I saw the cutscenes, some gameplay, collecting most of the action figures, and eventually getting the game before the sequel came out, I was hooked on to the game when I rediscovered it. And I also enjoyed playing the sequel as well. Rinnick Bob Brawl 9931 asks, 
what are your thoughts on Sonic 4 Episode 2 and Sonic Dimensions? Well, Episode 2 looks pretty good so far. Hopefully they'll fix up all the bugs that Episode 1 had. As for this Dimensions thing, I don't see it coming to existence. At first, I thought it would have to do with Sonic from the games visiting other Sonic Dimensions, like the Archie Sonic, the Fleetway Sonic, and so on, but it says something about different colored Sonics with different abilities and emotions. Sounds more like a video game adaptation of Sonic X issue 25. But I see the game as Sonic Adventure 3. Nothing but a rumor. And, ooh, here's some fun ones. Dragon Core 7 asks, If you could make a video game, what type of game will it be, and what will the story be about? Well, I think I would like to make a video game based off of the Archie Sonic series, and the story is is that Robotnik and his army of Dark Age Legioners are going around finding the portal to the Special Zone to get the Chaos Emeralds, and Sonic and the Freedom Fighters have to stop them and defeat Robotnik while dealing with other rivals and villains along the way who want the Emeralds too. It would be something like a platformer mixed in with some action and RPG elements. Oh sure, I'd probably piss off Sega and Sonic Team about it, but hey, if I had my ways, I'd make that game. <laughs> favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Well, I have to say my favorite is Slot Machine. He is pretty cool. Who will win, Metal Sonic or Base for Mega Man? Oh, that's a tough one. Mm, uh, I'd have to say Base might win against Metal. If you were in a weapon battle, what weapon would you use? No guns. Oh, my weapon of choice would have to be the Jabberwock's Eye Staff. It can shoot out a strong laser at opponents, and it has a pretty strong melee attack, sending off meteors or whatever falling down and destroying the enemies. Pirates, robots, or ninjas? As much as I like all three, I'd have to go with ninjas! <laughs> Kirby Gut 12345 asks, Do you have a 3DS? Yes, I have a 3DS, and it's pretty cool. I like messing around with Face Raiders. Still need to tweak around with all the bells and whistles with the internet connection and the friend code stuff. When will you make a new beta collection video? Oh, that is a good question. It has been a while since I did beta collection. I have a few ideas planned for some episodes, like doing Super Mario 64, both the original and the remake in one video, and maybe do a part 2 to the Epic Mickey video because there was a lot more beta that I completely missed back then. Can you make a beta collection video about the Ranchin and Clank series? If I can find any unused ideas from the series, then yes, I will. When I get around doing so. Shamex2 asks, do you like my vids? Eh, uh, I don't know. Do you watch Puka? Yes, I have watched Puka before, back in the day when Jetix was still around. Been thinking of doing the show on Forgotten Media since Chinana Forever requested me to do so. Do you like crossover series? If it's done correctly without throwing in a bunch of random characters with a weak storyline, then yeah, I like some of them. Invader Zim game for 3DS or Wii U? If they're ever going to make an Invader Zim game, I can see it coming for the 3DS. Do you think cartoon iPad fighters will get on TV? Well, since this is a fan-made series that you're working on, the answer to that would be no. Unless you want to deal with massive amounts of lawsuits and copyright claims. Mr. Invader Zim 47 asks, Have you ever played Mugen? I have heard of Mugen, I've seen gameplay of Mugen, I want to play Mugen, but I have no idea if there's a version of the game for Max. So no, I've never played Mugen. What is your favorite and least favorite soft drink? My favorite would have to be Cherry Pepsi, them's good stuff. And least favorite would have to be Diet Coke. Favorite and least favorite food? Uh, let's see, my favorite would have to be hot dogs, and least favorite would be broccoli. Ha! Which is better, Spongebob or Invader Zim? Although I like both, I think Invader Zim is better. Spongebob had some good episodes, but nowadays the show is losing its luster. While Invader Zim had more variety with its episodes, even with its unfinished episodes had some charm to it. Your favorite Pokemon? Aw oh, jeez, I've lost track of how many there are. Uh, well, my favorite Pokemon that I can think of at the top of my head is Lucario. He's pretty cool. And next, um, oh, this one's funny. <laughs> Sega Comedians asked, why do you have so many rules for the Q&A? Well, there weren't that many rules. It had the usual stuff like no personal questions, one to five questions and such. I put in the no forgotten media requests or politics stuff, because if I didn't, then the list would be even longer and very short answers and such. Besides, I already have too many requests to deal with on forgotten media. Big Boss Man 538 asks, any ideas for a new Crash game? 
Hmm, make a new Crash game. How about create a story that is not as cheesy as Titans and Mutants, and make the characters look familiar instead of altering them so much? That's all I can think of. Favorite and least favorite Archie Sonic comic issue? Well, that is a tough one. I have a lot of favorites. Yeah. Let's see, the ones I can think of at the top of my head is Operation Endgame and Issue 175. And my least favorite would have to be the Dreaded Horrors of Issue 134. What do you do to keep yourself from being interrupted from making videos? Oh, I have a few ways, like listening to music to keep me focused on the editing and get me in the mood of making them. And I usually keep my door shut when I'm recording so that the noise from through the door doesn't pick up the mic. What levels and bosses do you wish would have been in Generations? Ugh, so many to choose from. I think I would have liked to see Blind Battery Zone from Sonic & Knuckles, Diamond Dust Zone from Sonic 3D Blast, Ice Cat Zone from Sonic 3, Sunset Park from Sonic Triple Trouble, Final Fortress, and Mystic Mansion from Sonic Heroes and Generations. For the bosses, I would have added in uh, Metal Sonic Kai, aka Titan Metal Sonic from Knuckles Chaotix, Mecha Sonic from Sonic & Knuckles, Egg Viper from Sonic Adventure, Big Boom Boo from Sonic Adventure 2, Egg Breaker from Shadow the Hedgehog, and Egg Boss from Sonic Chronicles. And just for a bonus, the one piece of music I should have added into Generations is Sunset Park Act 3 from Sonic Triple Trouble. I love that tune, it was so darn catchy, and I was real bummed out that it didn't include it in the game at all. Marvel Fan 201 asks, if there's any movie you would remake, which one would it be? Oh, that would have to be the Super Mario Brothers film. Plain and simple, make it look like an actual Mario Brothers film. Rock881 asks, which Muppet from The Muppet Show is your favorite? Oh, I have a couple favorites like Swedish Chef, Gonzo, Animal, and such. But my all-time favorite would have to be Uncle Deadly. He's cool with how he can be menacing, but also provide some humor and some laughs. And it was a real treat seeing him back in action after all these years in the 2011 Muppets film, where he has an actual role instead of being a random character in the background from the previous Muppet films. King Riku asks, DC Comics or Marvel Comics? I don't know, I've never read any Marvel or DC Comics. <laughs> if any Archie Sonic character were to appear in a game, which one would you like to see? Oh, that's a tough one. Mm. I'd have to say it's a tie between Dr. Finitivus and Fiona Fox. What character do you think would be awesome with a Smash Brothers moveset? Hmm, I think Geeka would be a fun character for a Brawl moveset with all of his crazy abilities that he can wield. If Discord came to your house, how would you react? <laughs> I might be a bit freaked out. Here comes this god of chaos turning my couch into cheese, my computer into some weird mutated lawnmower, and turning my lamp into a jalapeno. Anastique! Out of all of Sonic Comic World's reviews, which is your least favorite? Well, since he only made 9 reviews before shutting down his account, and I only saw 4 of them, my least favorite would have to be his review of Sonic Universe Issue 5. He goes off topic too many times, cornball jokes, and wastes 5 minutes of the video ranting about the Tails and Mina pairing thing, which it should have been its own video in the first place. So yeah. Some of you can tell that I don't like Sonic Comic World's reviews, and it wasn't much of a surprise that he didn't like my Archie Sonic reviews either, but we weren't considered rivals. In fact, we joked about doing a co-op review of an Archie Sonic comic even though we dislike each other's reviews. Okay, now I'm the one going off topic. Next question! 6T76T asks, What do you think of the fanfic cupcakes? Sounds more like someone's been watching too much Sweeney Todd. <laughs> What about Sonic EXE? That game is like a dark side of video game hacking. It's like if Satan and the game graphic glitch gremlin decided to make a video game. If you were kidnapped and tied up in a mysterious room, and you were forced to watch either Barney's theme or Suicide Mouse in order to let you go, which one would you choose? I think I'd rather torture myself listening to the Barney theme song, because I'm not that desperate in committing suicide. Have you ever listened to Fireflight? Actually, yes, I have listened to some Fireflight tunes. I one time went to a live concert with some friends of mine a while back, and it was pretty cool. 